What's going on, everybody? It's Dominic with Power Slap News, and joining me today is Sheena Batori, the Hungarian Hurricane. How's it going, Sheena? Hi, how are you? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Thanks, for, uh, thanks for joining me. I know you don't got too much time, so we're not going to take up too much of your time, but how have you been since uh, Power Slap 1? Well, um, I started training harder, obviously, because uh, when Power Slap reached me out, I was more into bodybuilding, which is it's, a, it's also a great sport, but um, uh, after the power, power step experience, I joined more like MMA training and back to martial arts. And yeah, I just moved a couple months ago to, to Miami, to Florida, and I joined a team uh, called MMA Masters where I feel like uh, very blessed because I can train every day, like three, four hours with the UFC fighters. So I definitely can tell I'm getting in better and better condition <laughs> and I'm, I'm, I'm ready for the next fight. I'm so excited about, which I don't know when it's going to be at, but, but in the same time, I'm also preparing for MME. So, um, I think, uh, I'm kind of ready and, and, and any day when, whenever the power slab going to reach me out for, for the next upcoming fights. So you did this move, it sounds like, specifically for this gym. Like you went there to train with, uh, like it sounds like you found a team and, and you moved up, moved out there just specifically to go really hard at this gym? Um, I don't want to say that just because of the gym. Um, honestly, I spent more than a year in, in Las Vegas and I wasn't really happy with that place, even though I know so many people and most of my friends are there. But um, I would like to share about me that I grew up on a village. So um, I'm a country girl and Vegas is actually very far from the nature. So I couldn't really find place when I can get recharged from the nature, which is extremely important for me. But I just realized it once I moved into a big city, you know. Yeah. So even though I just tried to go for walking, there was a desert desert. So I'm like, oh, I just need a, a tree to, to cuddle with, you know. <laughs> so it was something like that. And also there is very dusty. So when I was training, I always <clears throat> I always had like some allergies and and it was very bad for my for my body and I felt that it's limiting me. Uh, I couldn't really improve as much as I want. And since I, since I moved here to Florida, the humidity is amazing. Uh, even for my body, like when I feel so sore after the training, I just go in the, in the ocean, you know? So I, it's, it's like, like in Vegas, I had like many times like Epsom sober for recovering for muscles, but here it's just right away, you know, the, the beach. So it, I think it has much more beneficial uh, for a fighter to to live in. So just you needed you needed more green in your life. It sounds like just more. I, green. I really need that. I more appreciate it um, after I moved to Las Vegas. So I get back uh, to the nature. And obviously the gym is is so fantastic because um, those competitors are are very very tough. Lots of them Brazilian, you know. Um, most of the people come from a very uh, hard, like like uh, for they had like really hard life, um, which is kind of I can have I can feel a connection with them because you know Hungary is also a poor country, is struggling a lot, especially now there is a war, and these people are here. They they taking the opportunity like there is only one, and 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 we have to give our best. So I can. Tell there are like a spiritual connection well it also sounds like you were doing a lot of this for for mental health and i want to expand on to that because everyone i talk to tells me power slap is much more of a, of a mental game and as somebody who was a coach how do you prepare for that is it your environment is it meditation what do you do to, to mentally prepare because everyone's telling me there's a big mental part of power slap that you don't see in other combat sports exactly so uh, you just get that few seconds to prepare in and you get only one slap to kill your opponent or you go obviously for the next round. But my, my goal is always to kill with the first slap so I don't have to take as much because we have to count 
from the with the other side too to taking the slap which is also a huge mental part to preparing for so uh, i realized that we as a fighters who who has like more fighting back uh, background experience uh, we are you know in the fight we always had to kind of rush submit right away our opponent and beat them up but here you have to take your time you know because i saw some some martial artists who was like they they were rushing the slap and that's why it wasn't that powerful the technique because you have to take your time you have to get your st strong base you have to get there you also have to i would say like like um um because in 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 martial arts you don't really have time to facing your opponent but here you have to stand up you know face to face so you're going to feel the other's energy you can't you have to watch in the other eyes and i i think the game is starting there mm. when you see your opponent and you can see in his eyes or her eyes that is he or she is ready or how confident you have time to 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 think about because you're feeling the energies you know so and you already you can feel like oh why for example if somebody win and then has to face again the same opponent and like why he's so confident now like i i i i slapped him last time and i win and he's like and it's going to make you feel like confused and once the other get confused you can take a huge advantage of it you really have to so it's a big mental game that's right you have to read well your opponent you also, it's like poker too you have to sometimes acting that you're very, very confident. I, I don't really have to act because I am, but you know, it's part of game. It's part of game. And, and people, if they feel the other's confidence, it's going to be limited. Like you start to losing yours. And, and from the 100% confidence, you get down maybe like 70, 60, and the others start to growing, you know? So when the slap is coming, it may be the other going to already in the better position because he was able to kind of kind of fear you, you know, with the look. I also can tell who's acting the look. Like there are guys or girls who's like so much faking that they are so confident and, you know, like wanting to get like so much attention. This is something he, he or she tried to hide the fear. The scariest, if they have a poker face mm -hmm. and they're just coming up, and can see in the eyes, like, bitch, I'm going to fucking knock you out now. You know, you just know it. You have to believe your thoughts. And with that, you already beat your opponent. This, the, the, the step is just going to be the cherry on the top of the cake, you know. <laughs> the, the finisher. But as a coach, when you were there for Power Slap, uh, when you were coaching during, like, the house and everything, was there a moment where you saw that, where you looked at a fighter and you were like, oh, this person's not ready. Like they're, they're faking it. Maybe I know. They, yes. they shut down at the yes. coin toss. Like they lost the coin toss and they just started to crash from that moment. Like, did you, did you see that? Yes. Mm. Yes. I have a good too. So I can feel it. If, <laughs> if that opponent is going to win or lose, even though in my pers from my perspective, that fighter is like, I would say like should beat everyone, you know, because the skill, the strength, the background is there, but just wasn't ready mentally because those fighters, it has to fight against someone has no fighting background or, or they are like not that experienced. They may feel a pressure inside. Like I have to win this opponent because he or she is nobody compare me, you know? I already made this and then I must win. And if the competitor put it on that way that you have to win, it's like, it's, it's a pressure. And with the pressure, you can, your ability is start to be limited or you're going to rush it, mm. you know? So I saw it like this, they, oh, they get like overexcited or overstressed. I don't know which one is the right word. But um, I try to like cool down. This is not good. You have to control your excitement and and the pressure put back in balance, you know, because then you can think right. What is the best way to to make the right slap? If the rushing is never good, and when they are nervous, they they overwhelmed up, you know. They like like 
like like the horse on the sprint they were like that in the box but it's not good for slap because it's it's not a sprint that's the problem you know you have to and this is also a high level to being a competitor how to control your power it also has to be your skill to pull back yourself because then you are more productive you have to learn it it's not always just like go out and whatever comes i'm going to fucking kill my opponent it's not that you know so you have to learn your control and i saw it and i tried to cool them down but maybe next time i just have to like choke them in the real naked choke <laughs> you know pass them out and Put then you're thinking, oh, what happened i said okay you are calm now now you are ready <laughs> give, give them a bit <laughs> of a restart do that <laughs> I'll, I'll be looking for that technique next year and when you're when you're out there training the next batch season two I, i'm going to walk with the guys like this in the ring be Keep calm, them right calm too. dude now go <laughs> let it hold them hold them back right up until the moment of but i want to yes. go back to power we haven't seen too many female power slappers we saw a little bit there we saw like um some of those i think they were kind of like looking for people tryout kind of matches in there, we saw now what's become one of the more famous knockouts. I think they're calling it the Sonic the Hedgehog knockout with the front roll. Talk to me about that. What were your thoughts on that big knockout there? Yeah, so um, I have to say she was my friend. So it was a very emotional moment for me. Uh, I was hard, but um, I'm taking every competition as us an opportunity to become the better version of myself uh it has to be like a path uh, of my life so i don't like to wasting those opportunities that's why i was bringing my best but my trigger is to get uh slapped because of my past experience i i had i had a couple of relationships where i was abused physically so this the slap is became my my trigger you know, so actually I was wishing uh, that I going to receive the first slap because uh, so I can say again, like I had past experience and that's why I know I am able to take slaps mm -hmm. without get knocked out. So and 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 that's why I wanted to get the first slap, because when I get the first slap, I'm going to forget who I'm facing with, you know, and I may have no control to hold back and. After I, I get the slap, I was like, okay, in this one, I'm going to give my whole life. So probably that's why it ended like in the very brutal way, you know, the slap. Yeah, but that's another it, aspect. It really makes sense. Everybody has to find a way like how they can get, how they can make the best slap. Like, like you can actually put yourself in that situation, which kind of, going to trigger you you know so even my dad he was my coach in judo and and i hate getting slapped i really it freaks me out and before when i went to my fight so when i went to my fight on the mat my dad from here he give me big slaps and i'm like oh i hate it and then i'm like fuck i want to kill my opponent now because i just hate it so the slap it was always a trigger for me, and I maybe maybe my past trauma, my triggers helped me to become really good in power slap. You know, there must be always something behind. Like you are not like you were born to be a yeah. you know a power slap fighters. There's always something behind. That that's what it sounds like. But something else I've noticed in power slap is it seems to be a lot of people do tend to fight their friends. Like that's a very common theme. You, you guys are all very close. Everyone's stepping up to this new sport kind of together. Everyone's going at it. And then you get matched up against each other and you have to fight your friends. But is that not just another part of the mental aspect? You got to like, like you said, do you, if you pull yourself back and they don't now you're the one knocked out and they get the opportunity like how do you balance that well that's that's very hard especially those people who's not not a psychopath you know and they have yet emotions <laughs> i would say definitely they get bigger challenge um well this is part of the life you know you have to like how to learn and control those emotions how to close out and this was one of my biggest lessons, because um, I used to be in a couple um, sport TV shows in my past, back in, 
in Hungary too, and I had to deal with it. Like there was a little girl, and and if I'm going to beat her on the field, it's called Exathlon, the TV show. And if I'm going to beat her and she's going to lose her medals, she might may get sent home, mm -hmm. you know, because she didn't have that much life. But I had already so many medals and I was faking. So I let her win. So she didn't get sent home, you know, and I'm like, every, like, like the audience, they were kind of mad why I did that. If I, you know, I can easily be her. But the other part was like, oh, it was so gener generous from me. And now I'm like, OK, here I am, 30, soon 32 years old, and I have to focus more myself about my future you know like something oh i think i just lost you it is for the others just because he or she is your friend it may be also a scene we can look from that perspective because why we were born in this life god wants you to become your best version of yourself you know so that's why i decided to going to take this opportunity but if my my friend going to knock me out i'm going to like congratulate like this this time was your time now it is how it has to happen now you know so we have to learn how to close it out and if he is a really or she is a really good friend of you you guys going to look each other as an opponent not as an enemy as an opponent and let's win the best at that moment and after the fight you still can be the best friend Sounds like you got that part kind of figured out and like you got your head game very strong. You you got your priorities focused. You know, when it comes time to bring it, you're going to bring it. And it sounds like if you are matched up against the friend and they lose, you're still happy for them. You like to see people shine and that that's awesome. But going on to yes. see people shine, who are you looking at for Power Slap 2? Have you seen the card? Any of the matchups look really exciting to you? Anything that jumping out? Yeah, so there are like... Uh really big surprises right in every every fight so i can see the improvement for all the fighters but um as long as i don't feel their energy so i'm not in person with them i can't tell who's going mm. to win i can't tell you know the revenge is obviously always tastes better you know if they have a have a how to say the back fight um, and there is always a little pressure on the others because that's why I said, like, I already win. I must win again. So it's a really huge uh, mind game, especially now they are over and over again fighting against each other. Uh, I'm very excited for all the fights. I don't really want to pick any of them because it's amazing. Everybody's work is hard there, you know, and and. And it's just so amazing to see how people are coming back and forth, back and forth. And, you know, lots of people, you don't know what they are fighting for. Someone can earn actually like extra power from their family, from their kids. I want to do it for my family, not just for myself, you know. So you never know what's the real reason they want to win for. And um, that's other thing I, I can't really tell just from the people who, who may win because we don't know the backstory yeah, or they could be doing it, like you were saying before, for their country. And on that note, Dana right. White saying Power Slap's going to be expanding. He said Russia, Poland, um, South Africa. Are we going to go to Hungary? Are we going to open it up over there? Like, is Power Slap going global? Are you excited to see this new batch of global talent come in? Oh, of course. It, it is going to be. It's already huge. Like, it's already huge. Even my video was running all around the world i saw even china was making a you know like every, everybody like all uh judo fighters was hit me up like hey is it you i we just didn't see each other 10 years but i'm like you know <laughs> it's a huge thing already and and it's just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and it's interesting because it's just a couple minutes you are you are on the not cage Met. I don't know how to say, but you know, like, but you are you are fighting, but at the cameras, you know, zooming on the face, and people through the te through the television, they can feel the energies, and it made them thinking like, oh, who will win? Who will win? You know, so it makes people excited and very curious. It, it catching the attention. So, so I, it's it's. I don't know, like from, from even from business perspective, it's, it's, it's an amazing and a huge thing. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, no, I'm here for it, right? I tell when it's such a good spectator sport, you're at the bar, you're having drinks with your friends, you're talking, and then everyone's like, it's about to happen. It gets quiet, everyone's yes. focused. Boom, you got five, 10 minutes of action and then you're back drinking again, waiting for the next one. And you get to talk, talk and be socialized. Like right. it's, it's really good. It fills that perfect gap. And then in the age of TikTok, which, excuse me, people don't have the attention span for a 25 minute fight. Power slap is perfect. Slides right in there. And that's why I think right. it does so well on social media. Even kids like it. Yeah. I saw some stories. Kids like it. So it's for every age. <laughs> the, the slow motion camera who doesn't love the slow motion camera it's the best part oh yes the face Ooh. yeah well i don't want so to i hope maybe budapest going to organize one one competition we never know we never maybe i have to fight in my country one day <laughs> hey that would be fun i think that would be a lot of fun yeah but i know russian russians are no joke no. oh they are no joke at all so so we have to looking for our for a really really tough opponents because I saw something on the internet for four or five hundred euros, which is actually less than dollars. Let's say it's like for fifty dollars, not much money, and they had to survive like till you get the final and win this this small amount of money. You had you had like four or five opponents. You know, yeah. so that's how the countries are poor. That 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 they are for for a really small amount of money. They are they don't care. They're going to take like four or five fights a day just to win this small amount of money. So that's something that that is a really high mindset of winning. You know, and the pain tolerance and everything. So so. Yeah, when power step is going to grow, we are going to face like like really really tough opponents. So like once the incentive, once the money incentive gets there, the people that are going to step up and try to grab that prize are, are these same people that were you know fighting tooth and nail for that four hundred and fifty bucks. You're going to see this big power slap money. You're really going to see the like you know the the top yes. prize. Yeah. Yes, because it can change their life. Yeah especially men they are the provider and they try to give everything to save their their um, family's life or kids or wife you know it's it's a huge drive in men to be a big provider if there is an opportunity you know this 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 inner warrior like insect it's just activated you know so for sure. Right. I think, and I think you're right. I think we're going to see a, a different breed of fighter, like the, a, a really hungry fighter come out of these countries. Yes. That's going to be yes. really yes. exciting. Yes. Yeah. Well, again, I really don't want to take up too much of your time. I know you're busy today. I really do appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you it so out to much. Talk with me. Before we go though, I'm going to give you the floor. Let the people know what you got going on. Where can they find you? Social media, merch stores, upcoming fights, anything like that. So I don't know yet my upcoming fights, but hopefully soon. Uh, my social media is Instagram underscore Francesca underscore S-Z-A-B-O. Okay, so you, you guys can uh, follow me there. And uh, what else? I'm going to make my YouTube channel soon. I'm not really active there, but I try to like more making episodes so people more know about me, about my days, sharing more like techniques from training. So I'm going, I'm actually, I, I'm, that's why I'm busy because I'm working on that. This is in process. And yeah, I'm looking forward for the next fight and hope you guys enjoyed this, this little podcast with me. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much, everyone. I'm going to make sure to include all the links down below. Make sure you're following her. If you're not following the channel, make sure you're following the channel. Thank you so much for giving me a moment of your time. I really do appreciate it. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>